Hi, uh, welcome to a, another Masters of Pirate Party member meeting. You too can join us every other Thursday. Uh, the next one being that this is September 19th. The next one will be two weeks from today. Um, we have uh, an agenda <clears throat> with some upcoming events that should be exciting. Um, I'm joined today by, I, I'm sorry, I'm James O'Keefe captain and resident of Somerville. Who else is here? Steve Revelak, Arlington, Massachusetts. Eli McGee, Lemonster. And the silent man is Joseph Onorowski, who's our... Uh, I was going to say, we got that... Oh, I was going to say, I, th I thought I saw a Joe around here someplace, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anything to add to the agenda? Nothing here. Uh, can, can you hear me now? Yes, please. Uh, apparently, when I am uh, editing my to-do list, um, it, it cuts out the microphone. Yay. Uh, so I am Joseph Onorowski. I am the 17th Middlesex District candidate. Uh, as well as a proud pirate, and uh, and I am of the LOL variety. Excellent. And sorry about that. I had the I had last week's uh, being that it's September nineteenth. Uh, yeah, two weeks. I had last week's um, meeting notes up. That's what we do. We put it up at our wiki, asparis.org slash wiki you can find him there um so uh anything to add i uh, maybe okay so there is time. so I, I just wanted to do an update on where i am at on my campaign the uh challenges i faced and uh request for help so report that would be a report. So why don't we do that first? You have the floor. Oh, okay. So uh, my campaign, I was my whole plan was to do a zero dollar campaign and basically just destroy my running shoe collection by knocking door to door and getting in front of candidate, uh, getting in front of people, <coughs> which has been somewhat successful. Uh, a lot of people have no idea who my opponent is or at what she has done for our community whatsoever. So I've had a lot of success with getting in front of people. The challenge is this last weekend, I came down with pneumonia. So my campaign plan has gone right out the window because walking door to door, one just for, I'm not worried about spraying it because yay antibiotics, but um, just going from one door to another, I get so winded. So that plan kind of went out. So I have to kind of go a little bit more classical, which is using print and in order to get the message out, um, print and getting in front of the television and social media and doing signs and stuff like that. So with that, I will, uh, I don't want to take any financial contributions, but I will definitely need some help getting in front of the heads in the short amount of time help with getting stuff printed, help with getting stuff designed so we can do a bulk mailing and things of that nature. I need more help with like the design of it and the messaging than, than really with the in getting it printed. And then just uh, once we get it to the post office, they can, uh, I can get that handled, you know, but Help with the design, help with the, the thought, the message, and getting it out to people, um, and then help with the printing process. The one challenge that we will face is that whatever the cost is, we have to know it beforehand so I can put the money into the, the proper account for tracking purposes so that we keep everything above board. So where can people uh, find out find out about your campaign and uh, tell you how to help, tell you they can help? Well, so what I'm planning on doing is I'm working on the list right now because, you know, um, 
the whole list of everything that needs to be done. It doesn't need necessarily mean it needs to be done by anybody else. Um, but I'm going to post that to info at Mass Pirates so every pirate can see what it is. Um, at least all the Massachusetts pirates can see what it is. And anyone who wants to do anything um, can coordinate with me, can coordinate hopefully with you, Jamie. And because, uh, you know, you've been in my corner this whole time. I kind of feel like I'm Rocky and you're, you're that coach that uh, gets Rocky there. Bullwinkle? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like where Rocky yeah, thinks he's tough until you. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking of like more like Rocky, like dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know, I'm okay with either. So, <laughs> so but, we uh, can put we can put in in the description. Um, how to contact you, how to volunteer, and have that information as well of this meeting. Yeah. So the only other thing that would really need to get done is updating the website with the current stuff, like instead of saying I'm going for candidacy, et cetera, but um, all quick updates and stuff like that. But uh, I think, Eli, you said you were going to help me before we were on camera. You said you wanted to help me get in contact with some some different news stations. I have a whole list of ones that to contact and just reaching out to them, coordinating with them. Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do about that. I should be able to get at least one of them to talk to you. Being being conservative with that estimate of one, but I'll I'll reach out to all of them. All right, I appreciate that. Thanks, Joe. Thank you for um, the floor. I yield back my time. Uh, so uh, we had a gathering um, last Monday in Somerville. I I think there were, there were um, a couple of us, and uh, we went around and saw a bunch of weird things on roofs that may or may not be shot spotters. It's not clear, but there's photos of them that we'll post and um, also mapped a whole bunch of surveillance cameras and assembly. Um, there's more that needs to be done, certainly in the more residential area uh, to the west uh, and south, but uh, we'll schedule new events for that. <clears throat> um, that's all I have to report. Oh, oh, uh, besides the fact that COSA got out of committee and there was a committee hearing about two patent bills, one of which would make it easier to patent troll and the other one would allow gene patents. So, yay, Senate. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, all right, so um, any update for U.S. Pirate Party? No, the Pirate Party is just not having any, not having any major changes in the past couple of weeks. Uh, okay. There's no advancement on the AI, AI policy, as far as I'm aware. Okay. Um, can I add one thing to that? Isn't today Talk Like a Pirate Day? <laughs> yes, today is September 19th. Talk like, International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Arr. So are you saying we should all talk like pirates? Arr. I mean, we, 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 we do that. We do that pretty much every Thursday, every other Thursday. <laughs> Our. I mean, question, if we are pirates, wouldn't that just us be talking? <laughs> I mean, logically speaking. So, uh, okay, so we talked about sort of the, the past event. Uh, there are, 
enumerated below. Oh, thanks for the that update. And oh no, I updated the wrong thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I updated the fifth with the up upcoming events and not this one. Well, I'll move that over. Uh, so as folks on the mailing list would have already discovered, we have another event coming up on Sunday the 22nd. Uh, that is in um, Central Square to map all the surveillance cameras there at noon. Uh, that's also at massparrots.org, so you can just check that out. Um, uh, in addition to that, let's see. So on the 26th, which is, no, I'm sorry, the 23rd, no, 24th, uh, at Boston Public Library at six o'clock, Cory Doctorow and others will be talking about book banning and censorship. Uh, that is free and open to the public, but they do ask you to register. Um, on October 5th is B-Sides Boston, the security hacker uh, local conference in Cambridge at the Arts of the Armory, uh, starting at, don't hold me to this, it's like 8.30, I think, is when it starts, and it goes to like 1.45. Um, so if you want to show up to that. Um, and then Anarchist Book Fair is the ninth, October 19th and 20th. Yay. <laughs> um, for local updates, so for Cambridge, sorry, any other events folks know about? Uh, the other one is... Where is it? Uh, too many tabs. Here we go. Uh, Ic Extinction Rebellion Boston has a set of actions starting uh, the 23rd. I, no, I think it's the 22nd. Um, uh, yeah, it has their week of rebellion, September 22nd to the 28th. Uh, kicks off on Sunday at 2 o'clock at Boston Common and has a set of things. Uh, Thursday, there'll be a die-in, rally, dance for mass climate action now. Uh, Boston Common, 5.30 to 8 p.m. on Thursday, the 26th. Um, any other events folks have heard about? Seeing none. So local updates, Cambridge voted to um, do a pilot project of putting up surveillance cameras in Central Square. Thus, as Steve has suggested, we should go there and map all of them before they add to that. Um, and then... Um, um, quick thing to add about that. Yeah. Um, didn't we get mentioned in... Didn't you specifically get mentioned in the newspaper about the protests? Do we cover that? Or... Uh, I and Alex Matthews of Digital Fourth, aka Warrantless.org, um, from Restore the Fourth, uh, the local chapter of Restore the Fourth, got mentioned in Boston.com. I'll put a link below. <laughs> yeah. That, Sadly, that's... not in the paper. Not in the paper. The actual paper. I picked up that in like oh, over ten years. <laughs> Still something um, that should be on our wiki. Agreed. Agreed. That's a good point. We'll make sure that happened. Um, so that happened in Cambridge. Somerville, uh, they had a meeting of, I forget which committee, to um, talk about putting surveillance cameras at all the fire stations. Um, terrorism, I don't know, terrorists have blown up fire stations? I hadn't heard of that. But anyhow, um, that'll probably come before the city council later, that the next meeting, which is in a couple weeks. So 
Somerville will be getting prepared. Somerville pirates will be getting prepared for that. And One of actually, the things that they have been targeting, um, like groups that are trying to cause mayhem, is power stations. You know, because that's far more disruptive, and yet still we don't really have all that much security around power stations. Yet they're reinforcing fire stations? Wait, what? Although for power stations, I, I still think squirrels are more of an issue than people. But anyways. Oh, there was a major, I think it was in Connecticut. Somebody was going around with an AK shooting like transformers. And they actually knew where to hit on the thing for to make it go boom. So I could be I wrong got, on the list. Oh, no, but I, caught, didn't they? no, no, I don't think they did. Hmm. I know one one couple that were doing that. They they got caught eventually. I mean, didn't they catch the uh, the Zodiac killer finally? There's a movie about that. No, I didn't think they caught him. Right? Is yeah, I think thing? they caught him. Was, how could we? Him. How could we say Ted Cruz is the Zodiac killer if you know? No, I Isn't think they actually true? caught him. I think it was because the reason why he didn't get caught for so long is because he was a cop. Come on. Well, there, the yeah, I mean, there, there, yeah, there was a guy who um, they found out who was a cop and a serial killer, and they only found him because they got a match on a family member through like 23andMe or something like that. I remember that. By the way, apparently 23andMe is looking for a buyer and not succeeding. So they may go out of business. So go delete your data from them or else, you know, it'll end up sold to somebody. Um, all right. Well, I stand corrected. I thought they did catch the guy. Apparently still no. So they... Uh, they have a few very specific persons of interest. Well, they did seem to find the guy who uh, shot at a bunch of cars. So, uh, okay. So, any other local updates? Seeing none. Um, so I have to apologize. We recorded Pirate News over a week ago, and it's been sitting on my hard disk, not up uploaded. One problem that we had was, since I was the only one uh, with video, it's just my mug <laughs> who's on there, even though audio's, excuse me, for everyone. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll get I'll get that up. Um, but that kind of, I don't know, sort of doesn't, doesn't seem to be the right appeal, I think. Um, um what we can do too is, um, I, I continue to move forward and soon, soon I will have the internet plugged into my mainframe and we could do all sorts of interesting clips and cuts. We could have John Cena come and grab your face and take off with it. I mean, we can we can do a lot of like little do pirate shorts, you know, and because uh, a lot of what I've seen for the media consumption is like little one minute clips. So, um, especially on the YouTube platform, thank you TikTok. I hate you, um, but that's just the way kids are consuming it now. So, in order to adapt for that. I think what we should really think of doing on the video side of things is to do like little news blasts or little tweets, but be able to upload. And I figured out how to do quick uploads right from my phone, like where you could be walking and do a quick upload blast. Mm -hmm. And if the three of us have access to just do a quick blast being like, oh my God, this happened in real time and just upload as shorts. Um, that might be a thing. So that way it would be my face, it would be your face, Jamie, it would be Steve, 
if uh, he has a quick man to just upload something that he just sees completely crazy, uh, Eli, any of us can just go in there, boop, hit this article, and then it's in there, you know? And of course, we could still have our group discussions about these different things, but, you know, that way, one, it would be more real time, and two, um, it would be much more condensed and shorter. Because if we don't have the back and forth talking about it, then it's just like, hey, this crazy point, here you go. You know, something to, to think about at least. Sounds great. So um, so we, we have the meeting, we have the meeting at noon on Sunday. Do we, are folks going to be around to record pirate news this upcoming Sunday? I will. I, sorry, go ahead, Steve. You first, Joe. I will be available, but I'm going to be trying to get this checklist done. At least, um, my goal is to get the website up and done. And uh, try and at least get working on the designs and stuff like that for the signage. I have a big permit application to review and wouldn't mind Sunday night for that. Is that okay with you, Eli? Not meeting Sunday? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Great. We'll aim for the following Sunday then. Uh, so media outreach, we talked about stuff for Joe, uh, voter outreach. Um, yeah. Got to get that done. Sorry. Um, um yeah. I sent you the bullet point list to your signal just in case I don't get to properly draft an email tonight. That way, at least you have a copy of it. Um, Perfect. Good list. I'm still, still going to try and get the and a properly composed email, because our pirates deserve that. Um, so for local campaigns, Steve, were you able to put together the spreadsheet? No, I was not. Uh, we'll try again this weekend. Okay. If you can, that would be great. Um, all right. So let's, I guess, objectives for this two weeks, get the voter outreach out and flesh out more of these local campaigns. I mean, we still have some time, but it would be... Uh, Time is moving on. You know, it's soon. Soon the first elections will start in January. So it would be uh, good to have things locked down. And I, I'll call the the ones sorted, uh, you know, the first few and see when their election days are. So that'll, and when papers are due, and that'll give us a sense. Um, so that's it for the agenda. Anything else? I say it would be a good motion to adjourn. All second. All in favor? Aye. Arg. Aye. Uh, I mean, aye. Ar. Uh, and so with that, uh, thank you, the, the, the three of you, uh, Eli, Steve, and Joe. Um, for folks watching, um, you know, you can come to these things. Just go to masspirates.org. It's on the sidebar. Just click the link and show up. Um, we're always looking for people to help out. And, well, that's it for now. So uh, with that, I will stop the recording. And thank you all very much. Bye.